With the release of version 16.80, Powerline Systems is proud to present a new product offering called PLS Grid. PLS Grid leverages and manages all of your overhead transmission, distribution, and communication lines and structures that you've modeled in PLS CAD, PLS Pole, and Tower over the past 30 plus years and presents it to you on a planimetric map with a graphical interface to access key data about your projects. Once a PLS Grid server is configured on your network, it will automatically scan and index your projects on your network, generate relative project reports, and include any additional files and attachments your projects reference. In this video, using an already set up and configured PLS Grid server, we will explain how PLS Grid works and how it can help you effectively manage your overhead line project data and give access to this data to other non-PLS CAD users. PLS Grid is accessed either via a desktop client or a web-based client. We will begin by taking a look at the desktop client which requires a license of PLS CAD. To access PLS Grid and the desktop client, you start by navigating to File, PLS Grid, Open Grid View. This will open a planimetric map showing all of the projects on your system. In the lower right corner, you'll see a legend showing the different colored lines that correspond to different voltage levels. You can make changes to this legend such as hiding different voltage levels or changing their colors by navigating to File, PLS Grid, Display Options. As you begin to zoom in, you start to see individual power lines and the extents of each project are indicated with a gray rectangle outline. Your mouse will snap to the project extents and information such as project and line name, operating voltage, owner name, and right-of-way will be shown in the upper right corner. As you zoom in closer on individual projects, the mouse will now snap to individual structures and spans of wire. Multicolored spans designate multiple circuits with different operating voltages. Spans will indicate information such as span length and the different wires and conductors in the span along with their operating voltages. When you click on a span or structure, you have the option to open the corresponding PLS CAD project. You can also click on the span or structure to open the plan and profile sheet page where the span or structure is located. You can also choose to open that particular location in Google Maps, or if you have Google Earth installed on the computer, you can open the project's KMZ file to see the rendered PLS CAD model in Google Earth, as well as seeing certain project data in Google Earth. Circular structure symbols represent non-dead-end structures, while the square structure symbols represent structures that contain a dead-end attachment. PLS pole and tower icons are shown in the symbol if the structure was created in PLS pole or tower, and blank symbols indicate that they are simple stick models created in PLS CAD. When snapping to structure models, different informational attributes are shown depending on the user-defined labels in their PLS CAD projects, such as structure number, structure file name, coordinates, material items, and up to 50 different structure comment fields that you can enter any information you'd like. Some examples would include structure and foundation drawing numbers, pole inspection dates, thermal rating limits, and resistance readings. These 50 comment fields can also house references to supplemental files like structure drawings, photos, spreadsheets, PDFs, etc. For example, this structure has a couple of site photos that are easily accessed once the structure is selected. Similarly, the projects as a whole can also have reference files associated with it that are accessed when selecting any structure or span as well as the overall project. For example, this particular project has some easement documents that you can access by clicking on a project entity. Also, when clicking on a structure, you have access to opening the structure file in PLS Pole or Tower as well as viewing the structure overview report or construction staking report of that structure. When you make changes to a project and want to update PLS Grid with the latest information, you just navigate to File, PLS Grid, Export to Grid. This process will create a new index file and rerun all of the reports for that project. For example, I could open this project and remove a structure. I'll remove Structure 3. Then I can save and export the revised project to PLS Grid. 
And now when I go view the project in PLS Grid, we can see there is no longer a structure at that location. You can also choose the option to batch export projects, which will look at all of the directories you specify during the initial setup of PLS Grid. The batch export option allows you to very quickly and easily index and add all of your projects to PLS Grid. Let's now switch over to the web client. The web client is accessed via a simple URL address of your PLS Grid server so it can be utilized on any mobile device like cell phones and tablets as well as your connected laptops in the field. The web-based client is password protected and administrators have the ability to assign access to projects using an access control list, including defining groups of users for particular access and rights. After logging in, we again see a planimetric map very similar to what we saw in the desktop client. We can zoom in and start to see more information about our projects. We can snap to project boundary extents to see generic information like line name, line code, voltage, thermal rating, etc. As we zoom farther in, we can select individual structures and spans, and just like in the desktop client, you can click on structures or spans to access supplemental information generated during the PLS grid export, like plan and profile sheets, structure overview reports, construction staking reports, and the ability to view the location in your default at mapping application. You can also view the PLS CAD project's KMZ file for use in Google Earth. Also notice at the top of the screen there is an option to graphically select an area which will pull in and show all available files in the specific area selected with the ability to download and view those files. This option here uses your device's geolocation to locate you on the PLS grid map so if you are working in the field you can quickly ascertain your location in relation to projects or structures. This option also allows you to do a more sophisticated search function where you can search items such as the line name or structure number and it will take you straight to that particular structure you select. In future versions of PLS Grid, we will also be including project management functionality with the ability to check in or check out projects as well as revision tracking to identify what changed on your projects, when it was changed, and who made the changes. You will also in the future be able to do multi-project reporting to easily run reports with matching criteria settings on multiple projects all from within PLS Grid. We hope that you've enjoyed watching this video overview of the newest offering from Powerline Systems, PLS Grid. If you are interested in more effectively leveraging your PLS CAD, PLS Pole, and Tower data and including project and report access to non-users of the software, please contact our sales department at sales at powerlinesystems.com to request further information. Thank you for watching and for your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.